Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So we had a major breakout with SEV in the Intimals from today. In fact, I have quite the headache from how slow the market has been. And sure enough, had a major breakout with SEV to make up for it. I'm going to cover exactly which levels we're trying to hold above from here. What exact indicators will give us confirmation on a continuation from here. And I'll ask in return as you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that I mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go over SEV with you guys here on the five minute chart. I'm going to show you guys exactly how this one played out today and what exactly we're looking for to make sure we do continue momentum going to tomorrow. But I do want to mention before we do get started that we do alert penny stock and breakout alerts of the day. We mentioned Rivion last week, another EV IPO at 108, jumping out to 179 going to this week, over 70% on that breakout. We also mentioned SOPA, another IPO, halts at $18.20, jumping out to $77 into the next day, over 400% within that two-day period. And we do mention pre-market news every single day before market open, which most breakouts have been pre-market news in the open. We mentioned major news on funding from Pennsylvania for EVGO last week, another EV company, jumping up all the way from $10 to $18 into the next day, over 80 percent on that breakout and we also mentioned another ev company's major breakout with ppsi from pre-markets news at five dollars and fifty cents jumping out to twelve dollars and 25 cents on the day over 100 percent on that breakout so if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again so as you guys can see here on the five minute chart again we were halted pre-ipo at 15 dollars ended up ipoing at 20 had a major spike to 26 26 halted had a major spike from then all up to 32, mentioned at 3140 that we were looking for more volume at that point in time. And churn up did come down from then. And the reason why we did mention that is because you guys can see here on the MACD, we had this decrease in buy pressure, shown us this white shaded line, shown us that decrease in momentum. And sure enough, did come down from then, bounced back off the 50 moving average, jumped back over the 20, had this increase in volume. But however, as you guys can see here, we do not have that much increase in buy pressure. Looking to see if we can increase in buy pressure later on in the day. And sure enough, we had a large amount of sell pressure come in. But however, we did have another bounce here on the 50 moving average while the market was pulling. And sure enough, got this increase in buy pressure, broke above our previous buy pressure point and broke back over VWAP. As you guys can see here, VWAP is the blue line. And we broke back over it at about $27. Mentioned this as a possible continuation. And sure enough, did break into new highs, continued on up, going to extended hours all up to $40. And as you guys can see, going to extend it, we actually are testing the 200 moving average and continuing on up. So the same thing applies here with SCV, as we did mention last week with RIVN. If we do hold the 200 moving average over the 50 here on the five minute chart, that we will continue on up. But however, if we did get the 20 to drop below the 50, then in my opinion, we could continue on down again. The 20 moving average is the yellow line and the 50 moving average is the red. As you guys can see here, we are trying to hold the 20 over the 50 to make sure we do continue. Now going back to RIVN, so you guys can see exactly how this one played out again. Another EV company IPO last week. So as you guys can see here with Rivion to the right and SCV to the left we were halted at 108 with Rivion here on the right we did have the sell-off and had this bounce back and as you guys can see here with SCV again we had the same thing happen we had a sell-off and we had a bounce back and we were looking to see if we can hold the 20 over the 50 here on the five minute chart and as you guys can see we did continue on up because we did hold the 20 over the 50 here we did get very close to crossing below here but however we did hold the 20 over the 50 and we did continue on up here and as you guys can see we finally got the 20 to drop down below the 50 going to today and sure enough we did sell off from then had a major spike down because of that so i will be looking for the same thing here with sev looking to see if we can hold the 20 over the 50 here to make sure we do continue on up again a very simple play here making sure we do hold the 20 over the 50 here on the five minute is exactly what i'll be looking for here now one thing i really do like about sev here is that we do have the email lines above the macd showing us that we could continue and we have this decrease in sell pressure showing us that we could increase in buy pressure and sure enough we are increasing in buy pressure looking to see if we can break up of our momentum that we had going to today to continue on up and get that strong continuation that we're looking for as you guys can see here on rivion we have the same thing happening having this decrease in sell pressure giving us that increase in buy pressure same thing happening here giving us that decrease in sell pressure giving us that strong increase in buy pressure breaking up our previous buy pressure went to get that strong continuation up here and as you guys can see on the sell-off we have the email lines dropping below the macd and getting that increase in sell pressure showing us that decrease in momentum and we're looking for the same thing to happen here get this decrease in sell pressure and get that increase in buy pressure just like we did see here on Rivion looking for that increase in momentum going to tomorrow is where we're going to be looking for and again breaking all up to what $46 now going to extended hours looking to see if we can hold over $50 going to tomorrow is we're going to be looking for to make sure we do stay strong now I know the market has been very choppy most breakouts have been pre-market into open we mentioned pre-market news before market open in the instables room every single day go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again and all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel all of you instables from the room that have been coming over and supporting the channel as well I appreciate every one of you guys every single day much love to every one of you guys and if you guys do like this video it does help other find it and it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video